Dolls, it's Maria, and can you believe it? I'm wearing fuchsia today. I'm feeling very into the the brighter tones uh, lately, and it's sleeveless, and I have no clue because this weekend was snowing, and it snowed like a couple of inches, and then all of a sudden today, you don't even have to wear a freaking jacket. It was like 52 degrees, and yeah, I don't know what's going on. The world's clearly falling apart. Today, I'm really excited to do a new thing that I haven't done on my channel, which is actually a shoe review slash a shoe and tell, I guess you could call it, um, and I got this idea from one of my favorite YouTubers on YouTube and her name is Greybeard Girl or her real name is Bunny. Well, it's not her real name, but it's her nickname. And I'll leave the link to her channel over here. Um, she does videos about like makeup, hair, and of course like these paranormal videos as well, which I think is really awesome. She's such a unique YouTuber and I think everyone should check her out. And I don't know what's going on with this hair. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to video response this video, so maybe she'll watch it. I'll be so flattered if she did. But yeah, please ignore this like crater that is happening on my cheek. I don't know what's happening, but thank God for concealer. And I'm going to show you guys the one. This is going to be like a deviation from the actual real video. Um, but it is this concealer from Bobbi Brown. And I know you guys probably have heard it from every YouTube girl. Blah, blah, blah. But now I'm going to comment on it because I finally bought it. And it's this one. And it is in the color Natural 10. And it comes with just like a concealer and a setting powder over here. Um, and I just think it's amazing. It's like the only thing that I feel looks semi-natural on me. Usually concealers either look too orangey on me or they just look weird. They don't match with my skin because I don't wear foundation on a normal basis. I just wear concealer and try to blend it in as much as I can into my skin. But yeah, this is really, really good. And this is what has been fixing my problem over here. I mean, I don't know what's going on. This shouldn't be happening. Like, pimples come, and then they, like, leave, and they, they're gone off my skin, and then the next day, all of a sudden I have one right next to the one that I had before. I don't know. What's happening? Clearly. Maybe the weather, the craziness, is happening to my face. I don't know. On to something that's not these random little tidbits that I have going on. Um... So the shoes that I got were from nvshoes.com and I really love that website and I'm not paid to mention this or I haven't even like, they're not doing anything to, for me to mention them. Uh, but they, I just feel like they're a really good uh, store to shop online and it's just for shoes and their website isn't as high tech as Soulstrux is. Um, but their prices are way better and the shipping is freaking amazing. I ordered these on Wednesday and I got them actually the next day. I got them on Thursday and I ordered them in the evening which is crazy. Um, but the ones I got are from Jeffrey Campbell and look how pretty the box is. It takes up like the whole space on the camera but oh yeah they're so... I love the boxes uh, for the Jeffrey Campbell shoes. The ones I got were the Tardies and they were actually on sale on the Soulstruck website Actually, no, I just took today, and they were on sale there, and they were on sale for $159, uh, but on Envy Shoes, they were $152, they're actually $151, plus change and free shipping and stuff, um, but I always order on Envy Shoes when I get the chance, because Soulstruck never has my size, or they're always out of stock, and you put your little name to, you know, for them to notify you to, for when they have it in your size, and they never do, so... You know, I don't thrust you, so let's check, unless you have stuff on sale, which then I'll be your best friend. Psh, psh. <laughs> but yeah, I ordered these off of nvshoes.com, and I'll leave the link down below. Um, but yeah, I got these on sale, as I said before, and I actually think, I'm not sure if I did a mistake and clicked the wrong color choice, uh, but the color choice I originally chose was the blue a suede one, and the only reason why I was picking the blue one was because I didn't have any blue shoes, and I already wanted to get a burgundy suede shoot from another style, another brand. Um, but actually, you know, like after I ordered them, I was kind of debating, I'm like, oh, I should have got the burgundy. And you know, I guess it was fate because they actually sent me the burgundy ones. I'm not sure if I did a mistake in the order, but whatever, I'm just gonna keep on blabbering. But these are the shoes and I love that they come with a little dust bag, whatever, and I have worn them already, so I'm going to be able to review them on the comfort as well. Um, but yeah, these are them. And yes, they have a wicked platform, and they're they're pretty tall, not as tall as Alita's, um, but I will say they are, you know, just as comfortable as the, uh, the Alita's are. Except I feel like they should have a little bit more cushioning in the inside. Um, kind of feels more like blocky. I don't know why. It definitely feels heavier. Well, it is like a full platform, and it's not like the Alita's like 
like a heel. As you can see, these uh, shoes aren't all fully burgundy and black. They actually have this a little bit of white stitching all around. And this was one of the reasons why I might have not gotten the shoe, just because I wanted it all to be one color. But when I received it and saw it in person, I actually thought it wasn't that bad at all. And I actually really like it. It kind of gives it more casual feel. And um, I don't know if you guys see this, but I actually think the shoe is kind of like a watered down version, girlier version of the Dr. Martin shoes. Um, I don't know, something about them. They kind of remind me of them and I wanted, I've always wanted a pair of Dr. Martins that were like really dark plum, but they never have it in my size. I have to go like kid size, like a three or something like that. Um, but actually Dr. Martins has a yellow stitching, which I think is really kind of I don't know, maybe it's like a similarity, um, but these definitely are different. This shoe also comes in a variety of colors and textures. Um, the velvet only comes in a blue and this burgundy color, but they actually have another one that's leather and it comes in like, ugh, like tons of colors. I think they have like 12 color options. The other thing you guys might want to know is that these do fit true to size, although they're a tiny, tiny bit bigger on me just because I ordered half a size up just because I thought I was going to wear it with stockings and stuff and plus I didn't have it in stock, so it was my little excuse. So I hope you guys enjoyed my lovely modeling for these shoes. Um, yeah, for anyone with those foot fetishes, shoe fetishes, you know, I hope you like. Anyways, I want to know if you guys want me to do a outfit of the day with these. Um, I really think these are cool, and I'd love to wear these with stockings and maybe like one of those sheer black skirts with like the front is short and the back is longer. I think they would look really, really cute with these, and I'm super excited uh, that I have these finally. I've actually been such a weirdo, and I actually made... You know, I not only made a resolution list for the year 2012, but I also made a list of shoes that I must buy for 2012. I actually have a list right in front of me, and it's crazy. I have like 20 pairs of shoes that I want, and I kind of promised myself that I was going to do a lot of shopping this year. I was kind of going to kind of save a little more because I have to pay my loans, um, my school loans. Um, but yeah, I promised myself that I would get myself one pair of shoes per month. And then if you guys want me to keep doing this little shoe review thing, um, definitely tell me down below in the comments. And yeah, tell me how you guys will style these. I mean, do you guys think they're as awesome as I think? I mean, they're not really that girly, but they are so... I don't know, I feel like they're really rock and roll. Suede, burgundy, black platform, really high. And I think they would look lovely with my lipstick. <laughs> so cute, right? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you soon. Bye!